The final question in the writing part, the question 20, is about discriminants. It's from the module 1.6. Though they have asked you about quadratic formula, they are just asking you to find the discriminant for this given quadratic function. I'll write the quadratic formula here. The x value can be found out by minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. This is the quadratic formula. If you apply this over here, you get the roots, the solutions for this equation. But this particular question, they have just asked you the discriminants, and we need to describe the number of roots and type of the equation, roots and all that stuff. From here, we can find the discriminant, and then we can tell what type of roots and how many roots will there be for this equation. That is only this part in this quadratic equation formula, only b squared minus 4ac. So since it's the writing part, step one, given. So let's see what is given. Here you need to remember the standard form of quadratic equation. It is ax squared minus bx plus c. That is equal to zero. If you press mode 5 and 3 is, uh, don't press 3, if you just press mode 5 in your calculator, let me show you here. If you just press mode and then 5, that is equation, you can see the third equation, it's ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. That is the standard form of the quadratic functions. From here, you can see what is a value. If there's nothing, it's 1, isn't it? Given a equals 1, what about b value? It's plus so it's not minus, it's plus. It's minus 8 because over here B is having a sign negative in the about, the, about it. Just above a, B is 8, but this sign minus, it's supposed to be plus. If it's minus, we write it as minus 8. And lastly, what is the C value? C is 16. So these are given. And then the formula, what is the formula? Discriminant formula is given by b squared minus 4 times ac. This is whatever is inside in the quadratic uh, formula. That square root, inside the square root, this is the thing. Now what we need to do is step 2, find the discriminant. Step 2, discriminant. It will be given in the question. You can just copy it from there. If you cannot remember the spelling exactly, you can write find discriminant. And then let's find it. Substitute over here. B is minus 8 the whole squared minus 4 times. What is A? It's 1. C is 16. You can just put this in the calculator and you'll get the answer. It's 64 minus 64. It's 0 basically over here. Because 8 squared is 64 minus 16 times 4 is 30, 64 as well. So you got zero as the answer. So whenever there is zero in the discriminant, you will have only one root. And we can prove this using calculator. Let's press three over here. That is the quadratic equation, mode five, three. And let's type in the coefficients. It's one, A is one. We have B value of minus eight. And lastly, C is 16. And you can see there's only X. That is only one solution over here. And imagine, let's just change this value to say two, you would have x1, this is complex root, which is not real numbers, x1 and x2. Generally, you'll have two roots, x1 and x2, but over here, you can see it's only one root, so it's only x. So this step three, you need to write about the roots. See, it's not only finding the discriminant, you need to tell how many roots and all are there, right? And what type of roots. So step three is, how many roots are there? There is roots, you can write like this. Roots means solution is equal to one type of roots. It's rational, rational. And that's it. The discriminant answer is up above. It's zero. Discriminant is zero. So that will be the final answer. Discriminant is zero. Type, number of roots. You can write number of roots here, not just roots. Step three. Number of roots. So if you write these things in the exam, you must get full marks. So it's what is given. Write the formula. 
discriminant that is what you're solving use the formula substitute the values you'll get the answer for the discriminant then write number of roots that's one and from solving over here as well in the calculator you can get that and type of root it's rational numbers right so it's rational now whenever you have a perfect square imagine over here it was 4 or 25 or um, 36 all 6 squared is 36 so if you have 36 or 49 it will be rational roots whereas any numbers other than perfect squares would be irrational roots and if it's negative number in the discriminant it's complex roots so only when it's zero, it'll be rational and it's only one. So here, yeah, let's look into some other problems. What about this one? I'm going to write quickly. I'm not going to write in details. I'm not going to write steps and everything. I'll just write this ABC formula, substitution and the final answer only. So here you can see that A value is one, B value is minus 11 and C value is minus 26. So the formula is b squared minus 4 times ac. It is minus 11 the whole squared minus 4 times a is 1. c is minus 26. So here we have my, uh, minus 11 squared will be 121. And over here 4 times 26, 100 plus 4 is 104. That is subtracted. And when you subtract this, you'll get 117. So yeah. I hope this is correct. So you can just use your calculator. Now, discriminant is done. What is the final answer? There will be two roots and they are irrational. Why? Because it is not a perfect square. Now, I did a mistake. I, you know, there's minus and minus. It's plus. I just realized that now the answer is wrong. What I had written, it's plus 225. 225 is a perfect square. You can take the square root. It's 15, right? So it's a rational. Over here, it's a rational. Two roots which are rational. You can do it over here. So, yes, that's the correct answer. Let me show you. Square root 2 to 5 will be 15. And if you just press mode 5 and 3, and now type the given question 1, minus 11, minus 26. You can see the answers are 13 and minus 2. Those are the two roots. And they are rational. Why? Because they are whole numbers, rational numbers. Similarly, try the others. You can just check it in your calculator first. 3, there is x term, minus 2, but there is no constant term, so we take it as 0. We have x1 as 2 thirds and x2 is 0. Now here, this is a fraction. That means it's a rational number. Even this one is rational roots. So that means it will be a perfect square. Let's quickly solve this one. It's going to be 2 and rational. That's the same thing. But this is going to change here. And also, we will have different ABC values. So that's the only thing that will change. A value is 3, minus 2, 0. So substitute over here, minus 2, the whole squared, times 4 times 3 times 0. So it's only 4, isn't it? The, this is not required, but because it's 2 squared over here, 0 is there'll be 0. It's 2 and rational roots. That is what they want. And similarly, you can solve the others. You can use your calculator, but you need to do the steps no matter what. Mode 5, 3 to use the calculator. It'll be 20, 7, and minus 3. And here we go. It's again rational roots. So we have two rational roots because we're getting fractions. So here it will be 7, uh, b squared, that is 7 squared minus 4 times a is 20, and c is minus 3. So it's going to be 49 plus 80, 80 times 3. Uh, you can just do it like 4 times 3 is 12, 12, 20 will be 240. Here. Two, over here it's 289. Yes, 289 is 17, right? I hope it's 17. So that is a perfect square, so it's rational roots. And please do try the others. They're all same. I'm going to solve it, but now you can stop the video and you can try solving these by yourselves rather than watching the video now. It's 5x squared. So what is the a value? A value is 5. There is no b value because there is no x term. It's 0. And what is the c value? It's minus 6. 
The formula is minus b squared minus 4 times ac. It's 0 squared minus 4 times 5 times minus 6. So here we have 20, 20 times 6 is uh, positive 120 when you put this in calculator. And this is not a perfect square. So it's irrational roots. Now if you solve this up over here, mode 5, 3, you will have 5, 0 and minus 6. And look at the answers. They are irrational square root. They are irrational numbers. So those are the two roots and you have two roots. They are irrational. Let's do this one. It will be 0 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 6. So 6 times 4 is 24. It's going to be it's going to be positive 24. Yes. Again, it's two roots irrational. And you can double check in your calculator by mode 5, 3. It's 1, 0, minus 6. The answer is square root 6 and negative square root 6. They are irrational. What about this one? Mode 5, 3. It is 1. That is A value. B value is 8 and 13. So here we have minus 2.26 and positive and negative 5.73. They are irrational as well. You can easily check this out. 8 square minus 4 times 1 times 13. So here 26, 50, 52 and it's 64. So we have 12. So discriminant is 12, so it's not a perfect square. And yes, that's why it's a rational roots. What about this one here? Mod phi 3, phi negative 1, negative 1. And again, it's a rational roots because the discriminant is not perfect square. So discriminant would be minus 1 the whole square minus 4 times 5 times minus 1. It's going to be 1 minus plus, why? Because minus and minus would be plus 20. So it's 21, which is not a perfect square. So here we go. You need to do the steps which I did it for the first problem. You can go back in the video, check the, the detailed steps and please follow that. What about this one? Here as well, it's minus 2 the whole squared minus 4 times 1 times 17. So it's 17, 2 is a 64, 60, uh, 34, 68, negative, sorry, it's minus 17, it's positive 68, and over here we have 4, that's going to be 72. So this is again irrational roots, and there are 2. Mode 5, 3, 1, minus 2, and minus 17 is irrational roots, as you can see, these are these numbers keep on going until infinity. That's why they are irrational. Now, what about this? Now, this is an imaginary number. Looking at this, I can say when it goes to the other side, it'll be 49, negative 49, and square root of negative numbers is complex. Here, we can consider 1. There is no b value with 0, and lastly, 49. So it's going to be 0 squared minus 4 times 1 times 49. 49 times 4, it's 200 minus 4, 196. But minus 196, so whenever you have negative numbers, it's complex roots, complex roots. And there will be two conjugates. Always two roots, but they are complex. You can check this out, mode 5, 3. It's 1, 0, and 49. It's 7i minus 7i. So they are complex roots. They are not asking you exactly what roots are they. You can check it out in the calculator. But what they want exactly is what type of roots and the discriminant. Here, let's look at this one. Even this is going to be complex, I believe. Um, it's mode 5, 3, 1, minus 1, and lastly 1. It's again I, it's complex roots, and all these complex roots will be plus or minus uh, in terms of two conjugates, they're called. Here it's minus one, the whole squared minus four times one times one, and yes, it's all negative, so it's one minus four, it's negative three. So that is the discriminant value, the minus three and two complex roots.
the last problem here again we can check it out by mod 5 3 it is 2 minus 3 and my okay now here they're not in the same equation it is ax plus b ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 we have 2x squared minus 3x and this needs to come to the other side be plus 2 equals 0 this is a very important thing to remember they write it in the standard form that is a that is an important step in this problem now we can check it out over here positive 2 see it is complex numbers whereas if we change this to minus 2 look over here you're getting rational rules it's entirely different answers so please be careful with this just one sign change the entire roots completely so it is complex roots over here let's solve it up minus 3 the whole square minus 4 times 2 times 2 it's going to be minus 16 here and positive 19 so we will have 6 7 minus 7 so they are complex roots because we have a negative discriminant as you can see it's minus 7 the discriminant two complex roots and that is the end of all the writing part questions. I hope you have found these videos helpful and beneficial. I wish you all the best for your exams. Please do prepare well in advance for your exams. Don't leave it at the last minute. And if you have any doubts, please try re-watching the video or ask your questions in the comments and I'll try to get back to you very soon. And thank you very much for your support for my channel. I'm really humbled by all the appreciation and thanks I receive on the channel. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. If you could do me a huge favor, then please do share this channel with anyone who do not know about this and who could benefit from it. And if you can, please do hit the subscribe button and like my videos. It would mean a lot. Thank you very much and bye-bye for now.